Hey guys, it's Jimmy here and welcome back to Assert of Corsa for another video. Now, I've not really been playing much Assert of Corsa recently, both on and off screen, I guess, for you guys. Nothing's really been appealing to me. Uh, the new Rough came out recently and I really didn't enjoy that, to be honest. It handled okay, but it sounded awful. I just didn't really get into the, uh, the swing of things. But regardless, I found something that's drawn me back. It's a 787B mod uh, in those very famous renowned colours and obviously others that you can choose from. And uh, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with it. I've been driving it quite a bit, just kind of on my own in practice sessions and uh, thought I'd like to do a quick video kind of to show it off and uh, maybe, maybe make a comparison to the 787B and R Factor 2 that I actually reviewed uh, a little while ago. Now I've already tried recording this once and my uh, computer didn't like a set of course, so it's trying to look too pretty for its own good apparently and then I had to actually turn some settings down. So hopefully you guys will excuse some poor looking shadows and reflections if you do see that, but you know, it needs must and all that. So. Um, I guess we'll get going. We're at Donington today, um, uh, one of the more famous modded tracks, I guess, for a set of Corsa. So I thought, you know, modded, modded car up on the track, we'll see how that goes, sort of thing. Hopefully, we won't have any um, frame rate issues. Now, look at those shadows, aren't those glorious? And uh, first things first, this car looks very good. The model is fantastic on it. You can notice that already, even just from the little kind of camera pan around at the start and on board. It looks pretty fantastic as well. And um, it sounds awesome. I'm kind of just being less than quiet right now to have a chance to open it up so I can you know, turn it up and let you guys enjoy it as well. Plus, I think warm up, of course, because that's important. So, uh, one of the more interesting Group C cars, probably um, app that I'm driving a Group C car, considering that I've been looking heavily into the GTP uh, C mod for R Factor that recently came out. And uh, thinking about doing a video of it, but not entirely sure whether I'm going to do one or not. Because, well, I know there's a lot to cover and. Um, to me, that mod's only really focused on one car, and so that mod is about one car, and the rest kind of just there to race against it. But I want to get into that just now, this is about a set of course and the 787B, and we're coming up now to the back straight, so what I'll do is just dim my uh, my mic a little bit and let you guys enjoy the uh, full awesome of the 787B at full acceleration. So enthusiastic, in fact, that I actually break the engine a little bit, shifting late. So that's how you do it, ladies and gents. Oh, Jesus Christ! So this thing's uh, got a lot of power behind it. The old uh, rotary engine, very famous in the mall history. If for nothing else, apart from its sound, it's like understeer, like a mofo going down into the uh, Melbourne hairpin. And like I said, I've been having a lot of fun in this car. You know, um, still having a couple of frame rate issues. Both of you guys can excuse that because I can still see what I'm doing, sort of. <laughs> sort of. Got those animations on this stream when we need to go away. I need to turn the hands off at some point. Like I said earlier in the video, I've not really been into a set of course that much recently, but this has been the reason for me to come back and drive it a little bit. I've been kind of into my uh, older cars uh, recently, driving a lot of DTM experience, sorry, the DTM 92 mod on Race Room, and kind of this in a set of course. Just kind of enjoying the challenge it, it uh, it presents to me. We're driving it with a, a stock setup, so nothing changed at all, just default setup, and it's going well here at Donkin actually. It's not a bad match. I know this car never raced here in real life, but it's uh, quite enjoyable. Not enough room to quite to stretch the legs of this thing uh, as I almost go off. Don't spin it, Jimmy. You're doing a video. We're all making some nice sound in the background there. But it's enough, enough uh, room on the track to take you know, the uh, power of this, this thing. Obviously, it's good for 200 miles an hour. Jesus, it's like I've heated up the uh, the rear tyres a bit there. Really having issues with the, uh, the rear tyres, i got to say. <laughs> In second gear. Maybe I should calm down a bit. There are, of course, other tracks to drive this at. I thought about driving it as a Nürburgring for lols, but I didn't want to be so uh, horrible to myself. But already I'm feeling this is uh, more enjoyable than the Alpha 2 version. That car just had a very weird kind of feeling to it. So to speak, corners were just weren't negotiable at all. I mean, none of these cars are all about straight line speed. And then kind of get to the corners when you get there sort of thing. Being that they are designed for one purpose, which is Le Mans pretty much. But in the Alpha 2 version, I just I couldn't do anything. All these corners up here were just awful. I do love the sound this car makes, so it's uh, definitely unique. <laughs> it's kind of 
blending the throttle on off down here. I don't want to get into full throttle quite yet. It'd be nice to try and do a quick lap here. I'm kind of just cruising at the moment, getting a feel for the car and how it handles off road. Not very good, by the way. Oh, Jesus, get off there, Jimmy. It's good to know that I'm in first, so in that top left corner there. Had uh, 10 out of 10 for turning off the HUD, Jimmy. Right, nice and easy through there. Okay, now, next up we're going to try a quick lap and see how that goes, I think. See what sort of time I can do. I'm not quite sure what's good and what's not, but... We're a single player, so it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Just causing more damage to the engine over revving it. can't really help it, the, sound, the thing sounds so great. Now, I'd almost say that they've taken the sounds directly from that very famous Johnny Herbert video when he drives the 787B around the mall. Not particularly at full speed, but he drove it enough to hear the engine for RPM. Okay, let's give it a go. Quite a quick gearbox for something that has such a high top speed to it. Yeah. Car really struggles to grip at lower speed. Not quite as bad as the Alpha 2 version, but still struggling. Let's try and get the town force working, shall we? First time we've been in fifth, I think, in this video. Trying to take the corner nice and tight, but the rear end doesn't agree with me at all. Rear end's like, nah, mate, you ain't doing that. So I do more damage to the engine, but who cares? It's not the real car. If it was, I'd be in a lot of debt by now. Having already crashed this thing. Nice to see a promising will come up for a set of courses though. You know, the, it does handle well, it has nice physics to it, which is a change. Obviously, mods tend to be kind of hit and miss with physics, and this is pretty good. Very comparable to Race Room, I think. <laughs> I just can't get that Melbourne to um, happen right, but who cares, eh? Rather when the sound of the rotary engine going up the hill and breaking for the uh, last hairpin. But yeah, guys, that's a 787B. Hope you uh, enjoyed its awesomeness. I'll stick a link below where you can get it. Very easy to install. You just go and find your content file in uh, your set of course folder, which is in the Steam folder, if you have it on Steam, which I think is a shame place you can get it from, so just go pop it in there and the uh, start of the game and it will be installed. So yes, we'll take it to the end of the lap. Not quite going as fast as last lap, we'll try four through here, shall we? No, it can't carry the speed through there. Maybe I'd learn if I wasn't so uh, set on trying to go as fast as I could. That's not a bad thing. Uh, one of my negative points in racing, they always try and uh, flat out right from the get-go and you make stupid mistakes like that which are quite annoying to watch but if you guys would forgive me if not then screw you I want to get in that fifth gear you see how much longer that fifth gear is than the rest of the gears can't really take any curve in this thing Oh, shut up, engine. I'll break you all I want. Quite annoyed that the frame rate hasn't got any better, really. Maybe it's just because I'm recording, but oh well. But yeah, guys, the link's below for the mod. Go and install it, go have some fun. Nothing really to race it against right now, apart from itself, which is sort of annoying, but oh well, what can you ask for? Thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you next time for another hopefully second awesome video. Have a good day.